All right. <clears throat> well, my name's Dan Hartley, and I'm running for uh, the United States Congress in District 1, and I'm living in Pigeon Forge, originally from Florida. I've been up here about eight years. <clears throat> Basically, I'm running for Congress because, like so many of the people out in America, we feel like our leaders have lost their way and they can't get along with each other. And so we need, we need common sense in Washington and we need common people in there. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, I'd like to start out with the borders. You know, we've got that debacle going on in California and Arizona and uh, Texas. In fact, the president's down in Texas today. You know, we have to secure our borders. If we don't secure our borders, uh, then, you know, we can't protect our economy. And uh, do we even know if terrorists are coming over the border? And, uh, you know, this, this idea of giving amnesty to people who came here illegally is, is, uh, is a bad message to those who came over legally. You know, veterans, the Phoenix tragedy, you know, we need accountability in our, in our veterans department. Um, you know, had I been the congressman then, I would have been on the first plane out. I would have been in Phoenix until I, I wouldn't have left until I found out, you know, what happened and who was responsible. You know, um, I would have launched an investigation right then. Uh, our veterans are heroes. They are national heroes. They shouldn't have to fight for our benefits or for their benefits they've earned, you know. As far as economy is, you know, we need to loosen restrictions. We need to encourage small business. You know, we need to stop cheap labor. We need to give incentives for businesses to stay in America. And we need to create good paying, sustainable jobs, you know. And I want to give the government back to the people. And one of the things I want to do is I want to create an advisory panel of citizens made up of, of 12 counties, 12 citizens from each county, 144 total. I'll meet with them on a, a quarterly basis and uh, I'll get to know the heartbeat of every community. That way I can stay connected to the people, they can stay connected to my office and uh, we can make this district the best district in the nation. <clears throat> it's a cry and shame that Congress has an approval rating of only 5% according to a CBS poll three weeks ago, okay? We don't trust our citizens. Citizens don't, uh, we don't trust our leaders, I'm sorry. Citizens don't trust their leaders. And, uh, you know, I believe America's a great country. And I'd like to make America greater. And so elect me as your congressman on August the 8th. Primary's coming up. And uh, I'll do everything I can to make this the best district in the nation. God bless America.